This is Rich from Midwest Crypto. Joe's behind the camera tonight. And since you guys liked my hoodie so much last time, my chain link, tonight we're doing uh, Link Marines. Tonight we're gonna continue our series for crypto beginners. And one of the things we wanna talk about is crypto terminology. There are so many words getting thrown at you. If you're watching the influencers on TikTok, on YouTube, they're throwing words out and you probably have no clue what they're talking about. I've been in it for a while, half the time I don't know what they're talking about. So tonight, let's get into some crypto terminology. Okay, we're going to start with an obvious one, cryptocurrency. Now this is very difficult for a lot of people, especially my age. The dollar has ruled forever. So when you talk about a digital asset, they, they cannot comprehend the digital asset because people still think that the dollar bill is backed by gold. So i like to tell you that that's not the case. The only thing that the dollar bill is backed by is your confidence in the U.S. government. And uh, you feeling confident? Not so much. That's why cryptocurrency is going to be the answer for us. And just if we just talk about gold for a minute, a little fun fact for you, that all the gold mined in the world from the beginning of time can fit into four Olympic size for so there's no way there's enough gold to ever back up the dollar. So again, it's only your confidence. So cryptocurrency is going to be the way, and we're going to talk about that now. So cryptocurrency is, is money that's encrypted, and it's digital information. So it operates independently. For example, when you want to pay someone, you either write a check to, from your bank to another person or the money has to come from a bank. Uh, even if you Venmo, you're taking it from a bank. So with cryptocurrency, we can go peer to peer without any banks involved. So I can send Bitcoin to you as currency. I can send Chainlink to you as currency and you can accept it. So we bypass all centralized government. So this is the real interesting part. So I always look at this one thing. If you I always think about going back to medieval times, right? So you probably had a farmer who grew chickens. You had a farmer that grew potatoes. You had a farmer that grew carrots. So when you went, if you wanted carrots, you would trade it with a chicken or you would trade potatoes for a chicken or carrots. So in a sense, even though it was a barter system, what you were trading with was a different currency. Your currency was chicken or your currency was eggs, whatever it is. Cryptocurrency is very much the same way we can offer all different currencies uh, in a monetary way. Okay, so another term you hear all the time is ATH. Bitcoin just hit an ATH. Again, we're throwing terms at, but ATH stands for all time high. So basically ATH is the highest that that cryptocurrency has ever been. Uh, and ATL is the opposite, right? So that's an all time low. So that's the lowest the currency has ever been. Okay, here's a big one, all coins. What is an altcoin? Basically, Bitcoin is the granddaddy. So Bitcoin has earned the right to stand alone. So if you are a token and you are not Bitcoin, you are an altcoin. So there's basically two categories, right? Bitcoin and everything else. So altcoins are everything else. Chainlink, um, anything that you can think of really. Matic, which we love. All these different tokens, altcoins. So another term is bag. So if you have a large quantity of one cryptocurrency, that's a bag. For example, in my portfolio, I have a bag of matic It's just a term to quantify how much you have. So we're gonna talk about bearish and bullish. So if you're bullish on the market, you think the market is gonna go up. In cryptocurrencies right now, we're in a very bullish phase. You can see Bitcoin taking off, and pretty soon you can see all the alts take off uh, quickly too. So we're feeling bullish. But at one point, the market turns and it goes the other way and we start declining. And so that's your bearish phase. So there's still a lot of money to be made in the bearish phase, but you got to pay attention. So another tough one to comprehend is blockchain. I had such a difficult time figuring out all the different definitions and they're also technical about blockchain. But to me, I had to simplify it for myself. So I'm older, so we go back and we used to actually write down in your checkbook or on a piece of graph paper, 
you know, how much that you spent, how much that came in, and you used to log everything on a piece of paper. Well, that's basically what the blockchain is, but it's digital and it's a permanent record of everything that you've done in crypto. Everything that you bought, everything that you sold is there forever on the blockchain. So it's a digital ledger. Another term we use is fiat, and that's just our current legal tender. So in the United States, it's the dollar, Europe, it's the euro, and now in England, it would be the pound. Now here's one that you're gonna hear all the time, FOMO. Now FOMO is the fear of missing out. So this is a very dangerous one. So you hear everybody talking about Shiba Uno. You hear everybody talking about Bitcoin and everyone is getting excited about it. The price is at its all time high and you are so afraid that you're gonna miss out on this opportunity that you buy on the top of the market. And then the market as usual will dive. So you don't wanna FOMO into a token. That's what another term that we use is don't chase green candles. So on technical analysis, you'll see green candles go up, up, up. We don't wanna buy on the green candle. We wanna buy down here on the red. So FOMO, the fear of missing out, very dangerous. And we try not to trade on this at all. But even when we do, I recently did, I got lucky. There was a token called Lossless and it had already gone up, I think a thousand percent, but I said, I have to try it and then it doubled and tripled. So I got lucky on that one, but I probably won't do it again. Another term that we use all the time is FUD. You hear FUD. Um, FUD is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So market's going down and you have Chainlink and you have Matic and you have Black, you have all these and you are getting nervous because the market keeps going down and down and you don't have that confidence and you sell and you sell at a low price then it comes back later. That's FUD. All the fear and doubt makes you sell early. And that would get me to another term that people who don't do that have diamond hands. So diamond hands gives you that ability to see through it, have confidence, and then ride the waves and get to that all time high. And then you can sell it then or you just keep it. So that's FUD and that's diamond hands. So while we talked about FUD, let's talk about whales. So a whale is a term to describe very wealthy investors who trade enough funds to manipulate the market. They can dump so much money into a coin to shoot it up and they can pull out their money and it shoots it down. So when they shoot out that money and they sell and the market goes down, that creates FUD. You don't know what's happening, but they're manipulating the market. So once all us retail buyers get a little nervous and we sell, they can now go back and buy it at a super low price. Um, and they can do this over and over again. So whales create FUD. So another term you have to be used to by now is token. So the coin of cryptocurrency is a token. And I will mess up and say shares because, you know, the stock market would spend shares and shares and shares forever. So we don't say shares here, we say tokens. So if you listen to Travis today, he was talking about an ICO that's happening soon. And that's an initial coin offering. So in order to raise funds, the creators of cryptocurrency will put an initial, an initial batch of coins up for purchase. Uh, this is an initial coin offering. And then this is before it even goes on an exchange. And if you're part of that ICO, then you can sell right away if you want or hold it. Um, it's kind of what happened the other day with Shell. So the people that had it sold it right away and it, and some of us got caught holding a bag, but it happens. Okay, so I don't want this to run too long. So we're gonna jump through a few more just so you know what they are. Here's one, and this is from my son, Nick, Jomo. This is the joy of missing out. And he missed out on shale the other day and he couldn't be happier as the rest of us lost money. Another term, moon, that describes price movement, right? It's going to the moon, that just means the price is going up, 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 up. Now, when you hear a moon bag, um, a moon bag basically is if I bought 100 shares of something and that doubled in price or tripled in price, I take out my initial um, investment in it, take it out, and the rest is just profit, 
that's a moon bag. It's great to have moon bags. So pump and dump, another term you must have heard. Again, this is the whales or influences. Um, just recently, the face, the face clam pump and dump occurred and influences on TikTok or YouTube, they get you so excited about a coin that's coming out. You're gonna be a millionaire, a billionaire. You're gonna make so much money. And it's just the plan for you to throw your money in it so that they can pull their money out and make themselves the millionaires. So always gotta be careful. And this could lead me right to another term, D-Y-O-R, do your own research. Don't fall for the pump and dumps. Okay, last but not least, the coin. So this is a term for a coin that we really don't expect to have a positive future, but people throw money into it so that you buy it and they pull it out, pump and dump again. So we here at Midwest Crypto, we hate coins. Not that you can't make money, but you can also get caught. It's like a Ponzi scheme. The people on the top make the money, the bottom you pay. So stay away if you can. So that's it for tonight. Thank you for joining us. I know a lot of you know these terms, but if you know people that want to get into crypto or just learning crypto, please turn them on to us. If you have any terms that you want to know or you want us to talk about on a future broadcast, we'd be happy to do it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.